questions. Mm -hmm. Um, even with um. Now, could you um like explain the the connection with um, uh, because I think LeBron James, if he was here right now, he would talk about the way he's been inspired to do yeah. community work is from Muhammad Ali. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I think he would say that. Um, can you explain how the nation kind of Cult inspired culture him? Value that. And well, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. LeBron is an independent thinker. LeBron is not a slave and recognized that the system of NBA basketball, which is spearheaded by our Jewish community, they're the ones who run the NBA. We don't have ownership. We only have partial ownership. He understands that the people come to see our brothers and our brothers and our sisters in WNBA play ball and that, that most of the money should be going towards them. And he understands that as an independent thinker that he got some juice and he has galvanized other basketball players. I really love it. And they're going after the money. They're going after independency. I love Ice Cube, who has been under the tutelage of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for decades. I love the Big Three. That's a new league. We always played 21 back in the day. And now he done took what we just do naturally. Now he's built a league and is really pulling from the NBA because it's actually entertaining. But it has to start small before it grows. But I think the NBA is top heavy. Of course, all the Jewish owners are making a lot of money. And, the, and even though we, we see our NBA players and NFL players making a whole bunch more than what we're making, it's still less than what those who own are making. So it's time for us to go make our own, not become owners, but, I mean, become owners, not to become just coaches and basketball players. No, we need to own it. We need to see America got rich off of the blood and the sweat of our slaves for 400 years who built America. We built it off of our backs, off of our, our, our sweat, but yet we can't reap nothing from it. It's not freedom, justice, and equality. We never received that 40 acres and a mule that just bypassed us. Right. Because if we would have received that, brother, we wouldn't be in the financial position that we're in right now. Um, any any future um, programs coming up? I know uh, this summer is just flying by. Um, so, do does the nation have anything planned? Would this be would that be the twenty third anniversary of the oh, movie? Oh, good Landmark? point. Yeah, uh, October fifteenth. Yes, up? sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Good, good. The Day of Atonement. That's the Million Man March, which we made that a a holiday, and that's coming up. And I'm not sure exactly where that's going to be hosted at. Uh, but uh, I'm sure in December, I mean, I'm sorry, January and February, we'll be in Chicago for our annual event, which is called our Savers Day event. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, here locally, we're going to continue to drive, continue to stop or try to attempt to get into the minds of our brothers so they stop this senseless killing. That's what our mission is. We want to come to York. We're going to continue to keep doing what we're doing in Harrisburg as well as Lancaster. Uh, because it's 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 a daily thing in one of our three cities, brother. Somebody's getting shot every day, every day. And uh, we don't make the guns, nor do we bring them in our hood. We don't make the drugs, nor do we bring them in our hood. However, we're being victimized by it, and now we got to stand up and make our make our communities a safe and decent place for us to live. Right. We have to do that. Um, could you give? Um to listen to the audience um, information if they wanted to visit where you're at in Harrisburg and absolutely what programs do y'all have going on in Harrisburg because I appreciate y'all coming down here. Oh yes, sir. Y'all have y'all hands full in Harrisburg. Well, we sure do. Yeah, that's and the you capital. Know, yeah, you know. but you know, we look at York and we say, "Man, what's going on in York? They're shooting like crazy." And you're looking at Harrisburg, saying, "What's going on in Harrisburg?" Mm -hmm. But the reality is that mindset is prevalent all over it, in all the inner cities. We got to kill that ignorance mm -hmm. and we got to we got to we got to wake our brothers and sisters up, you know, before it gets too late. Trump isn't playing no games. It's just the reality. And, you know, we all hate the fact that he came into office and we hate it, you know, mm -hmm. but God seen fit that it's a good thing for us because one thing that he is doing is galvanizing us and uniting us. 
we all getting angry at him, which is all having the uh, the colored, uh, the, the, the darker people of the earth, rather, all come together now mm-hmm. in unity. Mm-hmm. And if that is it, indeed true, then we'll be more powerful than uh, than atomic bomb. Mm-hmm. So uh, my name again is uh, student minister Lavelle Muhammad. Uh, I can be reached if it's okay if I say all that. Yeah. Uh, uh, 717-686-0495 I openly give my cell phone out call if you have any issues any problems if you're from York please contact Brother Sharif uh, uh, Lavelle Muhammad 717-686-0495 our mosque is located at 1600 Market Street in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania 1600 Market Street Harrisburg, Pennsylvania our Sunday lectures begin at uh, 11 o'clock on Sundays. And uh, if you're ever in the area, please come on out. Um, and uh, we'll always communicate with Brother Sharif. Let Brother Sharif know when the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan will come out and, to, and address us, as well as Minister Ishmael and, and others, uh, uh, to wake us up. This enjoyable time that we have on Sundays, and you all are welcome to come on out. Is there, um, you think there's any way that, um, are you, working on getting Minister Ishmael to come to this area? <laughs> well, we just were blessed with uh, uh, one of our um, our uh, uh, heads in the nation came, Minister Akbar, our international representative, um, which is a close friend of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Um, and shortly, I guess we're going to, I'm not sure who we're going to invite to come in. I think Brother Victor Muhammad, who was formerly the minister, um, in this area who is now assigned to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, was doing a tremendous job, and boy, they got their hands full in Pittsburgh as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think we plan on inviting him down um, to have a three-day spiritual-type uh, meeting where we're going to be in Lancaster on Friday, we're going to be in York on a Saturday, we're going to be in Harrisburg on a Sunday. We're just going to go three days of just going and hitting the streets, talking to our brothers and sisters, and hopefully we can mm-hmm. get your support. Now, do, you, do you have a date for that? Because you had mentioned that to me before right. that you wanted me to help out. With right. That. We have not came up with a date, but I'm sure it'll be in September sometime. Right. Uh, it'll Whether be still, still well, well, it's nice, nice right. yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll uh, reach out to some of our brothers and sisters, uh, NWACP, the Black Panthers, uh, the Qs and the Kappas, uh, those who are very supportive of us in in Harrisburg as well as York, and we like to we got we got to do this together. Yes, and as uh we got about five minutes left. The minister, um, is he still kind of pushing for um us to knock down the, the, you know the barriers that you're you know you got this title and that. Is he still oh yes, sir. That, yes, sir. Well, I think he has done a successful job. You know, as blacks. You know, when you come from nothing, somebody give you a title, you get a little big headed sometimes. You know, that's why I say, well, don't call me no minister. Just say I'm just a brother. Um, And I think uh, servant and brother is the best of titles that you can have. Um, So we we definitely don't want to have those titles and utilize those as barriers to keep us divided. Um, So in a nation, we're just all brothers. We're all brothers. And uh, I hope we can function that way, Um, you know in society as well right um just letting um people know uh the listening audience thanks for uh tuning in um next week we will have um i don't know if you were familiar with this um brother lavelle um at a bar here about two weeks ago in helen uh some white terrorists as i call it i like to label it just as it is were harassing this brother and um, a white gentleman by the name of uh, Chad Murrow stepped in and um, tried to stop the harassment, uh, the verbal okay. onslaught. And okay. they went outside, and he was murdered. Uh, the white guy was oh, murdered, wow. defending, defending wow. the black guy. Okay, yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. So I went to uh, I went to the funeral last week, and I I met his parents. Okay. Um, and I, I believe they raised him raised him well good so uh next week i'll have um his mother on here on the show with the hour of power and she's oh, going to wow. explain uh sort of what happened yes sir. and to keep you know her son you know wow. going so 
I try to uh, stick up for justice, you know, sure. no matter what. Sure. I think he had more heart Absolutely. than what some of us may Absolutely. may have. Absolutely. Um, and again, going back to that symbolic movie of uh, Get, Get Out. Out, if you go to another another scene, I believe his name was Grandpa. Mm. And um, the guy, Chris, who was the star of the movie, he went, he was standing outside with him, and he said, what's going on here? Instead of him having some kind of uh, heart to say, look, man, they setting you up for the kill. Listen to what he said. He said, um, I'm going to just get on back to my business now. Mm. In the movie, remember that part? Mm. He said, yes, I'm going to just get on back to my business yes, now. Sir. Yes, and, um, sir. Just going about just my way and said nothing yeah. and knew this man was being set up for the kill. Yeah, we can't do so that, brother. I believe Mr. Merle did the exact opposite. He saw what was going on. He mm. knew they was about to do something, and mm. he stepped in. Mm. So uh, next week, I will have his mother here on the show. Yes, sir. Her name is Miss Pearl. Yes, sir. Uh, I've been talking with her. Beautiful. And um, maybe uh, she's trying to confirm her son, which is Chad's brother. Wow. He may come on. Good. So uh, that's Good. what will be going on next week, um, yeah. August the uh, yeah. 8th yeah. Um, at 8 p.m. The Hour Power will be interviewing uh, Miss Pearl, who is the mother of uh, Chad uh, Merle, who uh, yes, sir. basically gave his life for, for wow. one of us. So I got to recognize Absolutely, that. brother. I got to recognize Absolutely, that. absolutely. Um, we have about two minutes left. Do you want to give out any other information? I know you gave your phone number, the right. address, the time. Well, no, I, about two minutes, I guess the, my last comment is just, uh, again, towards you, brother, just thank you for your courage, uh, your steadfastness, uh, being a patriot, standing up, in the face of uh, oppression, uh, people, I'm sure some people don't like the fact that you are pushing this type of radio station because people don't want the truth, but Jesus is going to give you the truth regardless because um, that's the only way you're going to be free. And we just got to have more fearless people like yourself that has the courage enough to go out and stand up. And I, and I commend you for that, and, and especially for bringing her on next week. That's, that's really good. Um, unfortunately, Trump has tapped into the vein of our oppressors, and they feel like they're now in power to say what's really been laying dormant inside them for years. Now they're openly saying it as though this is the 50s and the 60s again. Mm. But uh, God is author of all affairs, and uh, if it wasn't supposed to be, it wouldn't be. And uh, freedom, justice, and equality is right around the corner. All righty. So, again, this is uh, Brother Sharif with the Hour of Power with my special friend and brother, um, Minister Lavelle Muhammad out of the Nation of Islam, local representative of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan here in Harrisburg, Lancaster, and York. I hope you can come down so we can walk the streets Absolutely, brother. Uh, together Absolutely. and reach our people so we can stop this bloodshed and violence. So, Absolutely. so tune in next week, 8 p.m., Channel 16, local access channel, streaming live on Facebook, as God will. And hopefully I'll have Miss uh, Pearl, mother of uh, Chad Merle, on talking yes, about her son. Yes, Thank sir. you for listening. Thank you for having me, brother.